what is going on, Sax family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the family, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to so never miss out on a brand new video. Guys, it is like actually let me let me check the time right now. It is currently Oh, gotta get my phone, you know. Got some text messages I don't want you guys to see from some friends. But 11.46 p.m., uh, yeah, we're starting this vlog off a little late tonight, but I figured, you know what, I'm bored. I got nothing going on right now here at the apartment. Why don't I make an hour and like 20 minute drive to my parents' house to go visit them and see them? Because I haven't like seen them in a week, and honestly, like I miss my family. Like For me, it's family over everything, and that's, that's the great thing about you guys is because you guys are part of my family. So it's you guys and my family over anything else here in this world. So yeah, honestly, at this point, I gotta pack a bag and get ready to drive home. About to pack my bag right now. We got the charger. We got my MacBook, we got clothes and everything else I need for when I go to my parents' house. Alright, time to get out of here. Take that, and yep. Door is now shut. I gotta actually uh, get my keys here and lock the door. I gotta figure out which one's the right one. It's probably this one, I hope. I hope, honestly, this is the right key to lock my door. Alright, cool. Hopefully, it stays locked. Hopefully, my roommate does not leave it unlocked when she goes to work in the morning. Because sometimes that happens. I wake up in the morning and uh, I, you know, like I go to go outside and my apartment door is unlocked. So it's like, oh boy, that's not good. That's not safe. Low key, I'm excited to be going back to my parents' house, you know, just to surprise them, see how everybody's been, see if everybody's been doing good, and uh, probably hang out with some friends. I'm not gonna lie. So, real quick, I'm actually checking my mailbox here. I don't wanna actually show my mailbox itself, but. I want to see if I got any mail. Update, there's mail, but it's not for me, so I'm just going to boop and shut that. One of my favorite things about my car is uh, this little thing right here. Yeah, I do this. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's, it's not doing it. Ha, ah, there we go. It did it. Remote start, man. The greatest thing ever, especially when it's freezing cold. But I just actually read an article the other day. Apparently, it's not good to actually start your car and just let it warm up it's actually better for the engine if you start your car and then just drive it really sinks you know because i love having a remote start but apparently you can't you can't do that anymore plus i just got a brand new engine in july or august for this car so i don't want to get a new one all right let's get up oh, nope it won't let me in oh yeah duh i got i gotta do this real quick with my key ha huh? come on come on ah there we go my car is now unlocked okay backpack you can go there actually Oh, I'm gonna move you there so I can at least have my seat. Oh, the door, my door just shut on me. I didn't even get to actually shut my door. As you guys can see, it's currently 12.08 in the morning, so I'm gonna have to put my glasses on and drive. I should be getting there in like an hour and a half, so it's not gonna be that bad of a drive. Everybody should be off the road. Maybe I can actually get there a little bit quicker because there's not gonna be really any traffic. Just got on the Lang City Expressway maybe like 10 minutes ago on my drive home, but there's one thing I actually like to do when I'm on long drives, and believe it or not, is to uh, right here, listen to the Impulsive Podcast by Logan Paul. Like, guys, you have no clue how much I really do love this podcast. Like. This is honestly my favorite podcast to listen to, like on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, whatever. Like, my ultimate goal is to one day be invited on the Impulsive Podcast and get to have a conversation with uh, with Logan Paul, with Mike, and with Spencer. Like, I, I think it's such a good podcast. I know a lot of people hate on Logan Paul for what happened in the beginning of 2018, but me personally, I forgave him and I, I've just honestly moved on with life. Yes, we all do screw up and we make mistakes, but you gotta realize at some point in life, you know, you, you can't like always be mad at somebody for one thing they did. Even if it's really, really messed up, you just gotta learn how to forgive, but never forget. And uh, honestly, that's what I've done. I mean, I, I've forgiven personally Logan Paul for what he did, because I've gone through that experience with losing somebody in my family like that. And uh, at the end of the day, you know what? Logan is a good kid from my heard from people that personally know him and people do change. Actually, real quick guys, everybody go on the latest Impulsive Podcast by Logan Paul and just comment, have Jeff Saxon on. I think that'd be funny if people actually did that. That might have been a joke. You got me? Cool. Right now, I just pulled into a rest stop. I got the Atlantic City Expressway right behind me. As you guys can see, we got like a gas station and a food place over there. But the reason why I pulled over is while I was driving, I had to hit my brakes a few different times and I heard this weird noise coming from like the back end of my car and I don't know if it's my brakes or whatever it is, 
but it just honestly does not sound good whatsoever. I mean, uh, you take a look at this. I really, oh, uh, yep, that's what it would be. It looks like the brake, uh, the thing right there is a little rusted. You guys can see it right there. That does not look good. Oh man, it looks like I'm gonna have to drop, I think, probably $200 on brakes, which is kind of expensive. Let's check this side. Up, oh, yep, rusted as well. I kind of wish I knew this. That is not good. I guess I'm gonna have to spend some time putting new brakes on here on my Kia because uh, it's not good not having brakes that work on a car because you need brakes to be able to stop. At least I now know what the problem is while I'm driving because when I would hit the brakes, it had like this strange crunching sound. It's like when you run over a piece of snow and it gets stuck behind your tires and then you hit the brakes. It sounds like that, you know, so that's not good. I, I'm not looking forward to have to do a brake job here on my car. I'm actually like 45 minutes away from my parents' house, so what I'm gonna do is just drive safely back to there and swiftly. Uh, I, I had to throw that pun in there. It's, it's awful, I know. But but yeah, drive uh, swiftly and safely back to my parents' house and make sure you know I don't speed and there's no real reasons for me to try jamming on the brake because I don't really trust my brakes at the moment now, so that is an issue right there. Okay, I am getting cold. I am actually gonna go back into my car right now because I am legit ugh, just freezing outside. So I'm gonna finish this trip. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, we are back in Forked River. I honestly have no clue what's going on up here. Clearly the right lane is just like closed, so thankfully the exit's still open at least. I mean that would have totally stank. Lacey Road! Take me home to a place I call home Forked River. The municipal building looks really cool. See, at least my town still has somewhat of Christmas spirit. Real quick, we're actually going to do the Twitter shout out of the day. It's going to go to this person right there who retweeted my last video over on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. If you want the Twitter shout out of the day, all you got to do is retweet this video right here over on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon Vlogs for a chance to get the Twitter shout out. I'll be picking one of you guys for tomorrow's vlog. Also, real quick too, go check out my Instagram at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. I, uh, I tend to post some pretty good, like, you know, photos and sometimes funny stories. So, yeah. It's uh, well worth a follow on both of my social medias over there. Okie dokie, I just actually got back home to my parents' house. So I want to give you guys an update about my car. Yeah, I definitely need to put new brakes on it. It does not sound good whatsoever, you know. Hit the brakes and it sounds like it's crunching. I really do not want to actually have to put brakes on my car, but my car needs brakes. I guess I don't have to put brakes on. Hey, it's once again my friend Frosty, the, the Christmas tree, and Santa. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Yo, Frosty, you know what, man? It looks like you definitely got a smile on your face just like the rest of my audience. That's good to know. Tree, you, you just, you're never smiling. Santa, man, that beard, that beard is looking actually pretty good this year. It's a lot better than mine, Santa, so I applaud you on that. Keep up the good beard growth. I honestly did enjoy having a beard, but I think, you know what, I'm gonna go back to being clean shaven. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think, but for me personally, I, I kinda enjoyed did having the beard, but I, I like being clean shaven better. So yeah, my parents do not know that I'm coming home, so I have to sneak in the house and be very, very quiet. Please be unlocked. Yes. Oh shoot, the dog's barking. Shh. It's only me. It's only me, dogs. Stop barking. If you guys are wondering why they're in their cage, it's because in the middle of the night, they like to pee and poop all over the floor and also chew stuff, so, uh, yeah, but we gotta be very, very quiet and sneaking into what is the guest bedroom. Gotta be quiet. I hope the dogs didn't wake my parents up at all, because that, that would've been bad. Yeah, this is the plan. Um, because it is late outside, right? Or, yeah, it is late and it's late outside, I guess you could say. But because it is late right now, it's like, actually, what time is it? 
It is currently <laughs> 1 45 a.m. present day right now guys um, Yeah, I have to be very very quiet So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the rest of this vlog up in the morning and get my mom's reaction to me being home because she has no clue I'm here. So I figured, you know what, big kid, surprise my mom, surprise my dad, probably surprise my brother. He could care less. And my sister's at college, so can't surprise her. But yeah, guys, have a good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace. Good morning, Saxon family. How are you doing right now? I just woke up myself. I'm about to go downstairs and uh, surprise my mom. And be like, hey, mom, I'm home. How are you? And yeah, hopefully that all goes well. Right, I'm currently going down the stairs. I hear voices. It sounds like my mom's friends over. I can't recognize the voice though. Let's see. Who's that? Oh, uh, that looks like my neighbor in the end. Surprise! Oh my gosh, what are you doing home? I came to visit. You didn't tell me you were coming home? I know. And the front door is locked on lock last night because everyone was still at work. Oh. <laughs> so I was able just to sneak in. I mean, I don't know if you heard the dogs bark, but no. that, that almost blew my cover. I was out cold. Oh. oh, look, there they are too. I was just outside having fun. I um, had a rough day yesterday, so I was... Rough day? What were you doing? Uh, watching the kids. Oh, that, that, what else do I do every day? Th is that a rough day, just watching kids all day? Sometimes. You're asking the wrong person. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot. Yeah, well. So why else you come home? Just saying after yeah, the day, you know. I got nothing else going on, really. So. Did you bring me home laundry? No, actually, I, I just said that yesterday morning. Oh. Yeah, I, I decided to, like, you know, just do it myself and not bring it to you. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Your sister's bringing me home. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wait, my sister's coming home? Yeah. When's she going to be here? Um, I think Sunday. Oh. Uh, what a party pooper. I'm only staying for like tonight and then I'm heading back to Glassboro, you know? Yeah, no, but I want to get out, you know? The roommate kind of kicked me out too at the same time. Mm -hmm. So. Let's not go there. Yeah, no. Nah, uh, let's just, yeah. But as I say, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to sleep. Yeah. Going back to sleep. Yeah, I'm tired. It's like 9 a.m. It's 10, 10, 9 30, 10 a.m. You know, it's too early for me. Hey, I already baked a cake, baked cookies, did laundry. There's Andre. cake. Yeah, you can't have it. It's for tomorrow night. When she tells did you there's dishes. cake and you can't have it, it's red that's why, guys, because we're back on that weight loss journey. Yeah! Uh, what? Red velvet? Yeah. Oh. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video today. If you guys did enjoy it, do me a favor, hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button, join the family, become a Saxon family member. On top of that, uh, turn on post notifications because you never want to miss out on a brand new video. But until next time, I'm going to log out, I'm going to peace out. Remember to stay positive, remember you can do anything you put your mind to. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Peace.